I haven't tested this release of the PlayStation 2 emulator. Surely everything will go okay. Alright, we still have time time trial. What? We still have time trials to do, but honestly I've been really struggling with them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing some of the race events. Um, I can't exactly do that on foot. Can I? <laughs> can I need a car? I'm pretty sure I settled on the Miata, because it had the most power for its price range. Oh, which one was it though? Da 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 da, 128. Wait, oh, right there. 980. So 128, 980. Hmm. 10 less horsepower, but 80 less kilograms. I doubt it makes that much of a difference, especially after upgrades. I do like the idea of less weight instead of more power. Power's nice, but if it comes with extra weight, then yeah. Not doing much good. Alright, Sunday Cup. Here we go. Now these are going to be the beginner stuff, so not much is really going to be happening here, I don't think. Watch me be completely wrong and lose every single race that I enter. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the steering feels weird. Do I have my input display? Yes, I do. Yeah, I can see kind of the weird jankiness that's going on with the stick to make things actually steer. The best way I can describe it is almost like pulling the car around with a bungee cord, which is simulating the wheel going back and forth. Like, the wheel doesn't automatically go back to center as soon as you... Well, as soon as you let go of the wheel. I, don't, I wouldn't advise letting go of the wheel, but you know what I mean. Yeah, looks like we're not going to have any problem this this race. I'm not entirely sure how far this Miata will actually carry us, either. Um, I know I can use it for pretty much all of the beginning stuff, but... Ooh! I look away for half a second. I almost crash. Yeah, we're kind of blowing them away. <gasps> ooh! I wish I knew my kilometers per hour. I don't remember the conversion. Something tells me we're going like 80 miles an hour. <laughs> I actually don't even know how fast thing this thing gets with upgrades either. There is a lot of them, but actually, you know what? Adding to the list of things I obviously don't know, I don't know the regulations for certain races later on either. Like, would upgrading this thing even make any sense? Because it might not meet race regulations for the later events anyways based on, like, engine displacement or something. I don't remember what the requirements are in this game. But that's our first race done. First place. No problem. Alright, time to crash into every single wall. Well, if- oh! I don't crash into a Yaris first, which I definitely did, so check that one off the bingo card, I guess. Alright, flooring it around the turn on a bad race angle, and I'm still beating this dude. This is gonna be another easy race. Good first car choice. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Evidently, it's not my driving. Where'd he go? He's going for a picnic. Okay. This is the bane of my existence. Turns like this. I have a tendency to go in too soon. Looks like we made it out of that one pretty good, though. Are these things... Um... Inline fours? Is that what it's called? I'm not a mechanic, by the way, so... Correct me on the 110,000 times I will get things wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's a... I'm pretty sure they call it an inline four. I'm probably very wrong about this. <laughs> Straight four? Inline four? I don't know. It's gotta be a four cylinder at least, but... Yeah, I'm kinda happy with this car. It's kinda making my life really easy at the moment. I say in the very first cup of the entire game, we are still absolutely kicking their behinds at the moment. 
Oh, it's okay. All right, that's another one down. All right, Trial Mountain. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like Trial Mountain is probably the most popular of the original tracks that Gran Turismo has made. It seems like it's a lot of people's favorite. I'm crashing into a Yaris again. Mm, I almost feel like I don't even have to slow down for that one. Oh, I definitely do for this one. Uh oh. It's okay. A little dirt in the tread. Never hurt anybody. That's definitely not true. Of course, I keep forgetting that we're driving cars that are outpaced by New York taxis. So, I doubt the dirt in my wheels is going to make that much of a difference. <laughs> what Gran Turismo game is it that there's actually a monkey in the trees? On this straightaway. I was looking for it, but I didn't see it. It's like on the right side. Right hand side. Still above you, but on the right hand side. There's a lot of weird easter eggs in these games, actually. There's like a Loch Ness Monster in one of them. It's kind of cool, some of the stuff that they hid in this, this series. I want to say most of them started coming out. Wow, that was textbook how not to do a turn. Jeez. I think most of the easter eggs start showing up, and I want to say Gran Turismo 5. I'm not super familiar with Gran Turismo after Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 4. I did get into the beta for Gran Turismo Sport before that came out. But that's like my most recent experience with a Gran Turismo game. <laughs> Gran Turismo game is only coming out on PlayStation. But you know it's a PlayStation exclusive so I'm not about to bash that or anything. But it does make it kind of difficult for me to keep up with the series considering I I do have a PlayStation 4 that hasn't been turned on in like eight months. It'd probably explode and catch fire from all the dust that's in it. But anyway, <laughs> that's like the most recent PlayStation thing that I've really owned. And let's face it, that was only so I could play the crew too. So oh and Bloodborne. But yeah. Which I never beat because I suck at it. <laughs> we don't need to go down that rabbit hole. Help me. Help. I'm crashing grandma's car. How am I doing this? Mm. Perfectly executed. I don't want to hear it. Did it. That was called a tactical corner widening or something. Mm. Getting loose somehow. And another thousand dollars. That should cover gas. Maybe. Actually, what is the currency rate? Has anybody figured this out? Um, that is not the car I thought it was. Oh. Um, thank you. I love these things. And no, not just because of the anime. Though, that certainly doesn't hurt it. Alright. Clubman Cup. Let me go see if that car is actually more powerful than the Mazda. I want to say it is. Uh, this was 118, 940, right? 115, 940. Okay. 127, 925. This thing is definitely better. Okay. Uh, how long have I been recording? Let's do another one. Why not? Rome Circuit. Now I don't remember this one. I still don't remember this one. Oh. Interesting. This car is way more rigid. Or stable or whatever the word is that I'm looking for. Like pulling the stick back and forth just trying to go in a straight line still, but... <laughs> Alright, this... I uh, never mind. I do remember this track. This is the track with all the bravery testers, aka the fast, tight turns. There's a couple of them there. We've got some... Well, this one's going to be more than a 90, according to the minimap. 
and then a 90 right afterwards. I don't like being pinched, thank you. How many laps is it? Two. All right, another bravery tester. Of course, at the speed, it's not that bad, but still. Hmm. <laughs> Three seconds ahead, that's not good. Especially with only one lap left. I feel like <gasps> it's okay. I should have been braver. I could have gotten two positions. Dang it. So I'm going to say this, and I know it's 100% just a pet peeve of mine. So I take it as nothing more. I get a little bit frustrated with some of these kinds of racing games where it's like two lap races, three lap races. It kind of feels like it's just a mad rush to the end. You know what I mean? Like, any of the strategy for lawn races is just out the window. You're kind of just pushing and shoving, trying to get to the beginning, trying to get to the front, because you only have, like, four to six minutes to make something happen. It can be a little bit frustrating. Okay, I'm finding out that I don't even have to hit the brakes on some of these turns. So, I think I'm just gonna throw the car around a little bit. Like I said, it's kind of a mad rush to the finish line. I'm gonna have two more good turns to try to make something happen, and I'm very sure this yellow car in front of me is faster. I wish I could remember what that thing is, because I used to love them. <sighs> okay, here we go. We'll send it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucked. There is qualify. I wish there was more turns, because I can take them on the turns. It's the straightaways that I can't keep up with. Oh, it's an MR2. That's what that thing is. Well, that's a pretty slow lap, but... Fifth! Okay, well, I was hoping it would be better than fifth, but... <laughs> uh... Oh, Alright, well, let's just throw ourselves at the wall and see what happens. I mean, not literally, because that might end in tragedy, but... I never thought in my life I would be struggling to catch a PT Cruiser. It's a little bit insulting, actually. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better car to draft behind, though. Moves more air than a politician. Can you not rub against me? Also, like a politician? <laughs> I, anyway. <laughs> Should I start playing like a Gran Turismo online player? Just start friggin' gunning it into everything, rear-ending people to slow down. <laughs> I'm going the multiplayer route. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be on Reddit later. Oh my goodness. I can't even outrun a PT Cruiser. This is tragic. Buddy. What you doing? I'm coming over whether you're there or not. <laughs> I really am playing like a online lobby. Alright, well, I mean, that's second. That's gonna be some prize money. Maybe we can actually upgrade this car. That's something I didn't think about. Those MR2s, they're just too powerful. You can buy a Supra? What the heck? All right, well, see, this is what my grind adapted behind starts thinking because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing 44,800. I have 5,000. I would only have to do 40 races in first place. I mean, that doesn't sound that bad to me. That would be like a couple of hours, and then I would have a freaking Supra. Or should I not do that, and I should just focus on playing the game normally? <laughs> well, I got time to think about that, because this is actually the end of this episode. I just watched my idea about that, and so I have to call it here. I'm glad to finally be back in this. I had to hang up pretty much all of my racing content because my controllers were busted. Really bad stick drift. I wouldn't say completely unplayable, but definitely a miserable experience. That and they were PlayStation controllers, which if you didn't know, on Windows you have to run through third-party programs and drivers just to get the computer to recognize a PlayStation controller. Steam has built-in support for it, but everything outside of Steam doesn't like it. I want to keep going with this game, and then also, if you're into the retro racing games, I actually want to do one for Need for Speed Underground, which actually I think I'm going to record right after this video, so. I'm going to go save, because I forgot this game doesn't save automatically. And as always, 
like and share the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more thank you so much for watching and i hope that you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one see ya